We're back in Seattle with Chef Tarek Abdullah, a popular chef known for his pop-up restaurants. I think people like the idea of finding something that's just exclusive for like that one time. A menu today, and I gotta wait two more weeks to try something else from that guy or that gal again. It's like, yeah. it makes you want yeah. to crave to eat at that spot again. And it's, it's a really good time. I, I love what I do. I get to honestly see people happy and enjoy, and I see a lot of empty plates. So I'm doing something right. While Chef Tarek does a wide variety of pop-up restaurants, I was able to check out his Morning Star Brunch. The best way to do Morning Star Brunch, though, is to come with at least six people so that one person orders everything and then you just share around. She likes to have biscuits. <laughs> just biscuits. <laughs> she will just order biscuits for days. Now I'm headed back into the kitchen to learn how to cook up one of Chef Tarek's Moroccan-inspired chicken dishes. So what are we making? Okay, so today we are making a Moroccan-inspired dish called jaj saffron, which jaj in Morocco means jaj, chicken. Jaj. 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 Our first step is to sprinkle some kosher salt on both sides of the chicken. Then we lightly saute one side on a hot pan coated with some olive oil. There we go. And then what we'll do, we'll let that go for about a minute or so. Okay. And then it's going to go into okay. the oven. Okay. While the chicken cooks in the oven, we start making the couscous by putting some water in a pan. Then we add butter and olive oil. Once the water comes to a boil, we add the couscous. So now we've added our couscous. We stirred it. Yep. We're gonna put. It, we're just gonna put a lid on it like so. Just cover it. Yeah. And we're gonna let that water, let that liquid absorb. While our couscous absorbs the water, we take our chicken breast out of the oven. Now we gonna make our sauce. Okay. So. That chicken, mm -hmm. we're, gonna save we're that. gonna use this pan to make our sauce. Now, one thing, what's one thing you've noticed I've always had in my hand? This. Yes, because this is, this is, of course that's gonna be hot, and I like the idea of constantly cleaning as I go, but definitely try to keep a hot mint if you're gonna you need constantly. need to talk to my husband. Okay, okay. hey husband <laughs> out there, gonna let go. you know really quick, you need to have <laughs> one of these, it's very, very important, okay? <laughs> to start the sauce, we pour a cup of chicken stock into the hot pan. Then add some crushed tomato. Once the sauce starts to boil, we finish it with a little saffron and butter. See, the trick is now, since you want nice, rich sauce, mm -hmm. you have to work the butter with the sauce. What I like to do, just constantly work the pan with the butter until it comes together. Yeah. Once the sauce is mixed together, we go back to our couscous. We add a little olive oil and start to break it up with our hands. Then we add some currants, almonds, mint, and a quarter cup of chopped cilantro. We mix that together, and now we're ready to plate it. We're gonna take our chicken, and I'm just gonna slice this for us. Then we go in with our sauce. And this is chicken, couscous, and a sauce. So simple, but it, the way you're doing it makes it look really special and fancy. Hey. Why not? If, exactly. Why not look? Why not look just as fancy yeah. as anyone else? And there you have it. <laughs> I love it! Yay! Nice job! Nice, nice job there. Now it's time to dig in. Mmm, 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 mmm! So delicious. That was just an ordinary chicken breast into something extraordinary. Mmm. -hmm. And it was easy. Yeah. Totally. Tarek, thanks. Very welcome. It was awesome. Gotcha. No problem. <laughs> That's what we do over here. That's we right. feed the people. <laughs> feed the people. Nice. I'm gonna eat, feed me some more. <laughs> to get the recipe for Chef Tark's chicken dish with jeweled couscous, head over to wagrown.com.